Hello everyone and welcome to Joe and Zach's Survival. Uh, a while back, I think he posted it about a year ago, a uh, whitetail bushcrafter on his channel, Nick, he posted a video where he took fish fillets, smoked them with um, apple sawdust, and had it on top of pine for a spice. And I've thought about that off and on all the time here, wanting to try that. So last week, if you guys watched the video, I went ice fishing and I caught a couple of nice northerns and I flayed those out and I brought some of the plays up with me here to the tent and um, we're going to give that a try. If you want to see how it's done, a really good video on it, go to his channel. I think he uploaded it last February sometime, so it's been almost a year. And, uh, and check it out, but we're just going to go through it quick. I'm really interested to see what that pine does. I mean, this is something that he has done since he was a kid that I've never even heard of before, and it's so simple. Okay, so when he did his, he had little containers of apple sawdust that he carried with him, and uh, he said wood chips would work, and I was originally going to do birch, but then I remember I do have apple up here. I've got some maple up here that I keep up here just for smoking. So I'm going to go ahead and put the apple chips and just put a layer of this in the bottom of the pan like so and then I'm going to go out and grab some little ends of a pine tree some spruce and we're going to put on top of that all right I went out and I grabbed some pieces of pine this is like I said just a spruce this still has snow on it from being outside but I think that might be okay because since we're going to be actually steaming this fish we should be good According to what he did, we're just doing this to keep it off the ground so it's off the bottom of the pan so we're not actually frying the fish. So anyway, get a nice little layer of that in here. And now we're going to get our fish ready. Alright, so this is one of the, well, one half of one of the northern that I caught just a few days ago ice fishing, if you guys watched that video. And I'm just going to cut this into some pieces that will fit in that pan. I did not uh, take the Y bones out of this fish. It was late when I got back and I was flaying them and thinking who's going to complain about that. I'm the only one probably going to be eating them. So I left them in. But what we're supposed to do here is place the fillets over the pine needles. And the pine needles are going to spice this when they're steamed. Just like that. So now we're going to go out and we're going to put this on the fire. I'm going to take and put foil over it. He had a really nice new pot and everything, but I'm just going to put foil over the top of this to keep all the smoke and the steam in there. His took only about 10 minutes. I think he had his in for 9 minutes. I'll probably leave these in for a little longer because he had a walleye fillet and it was thinner than these uh, northern. So I'll probably give this, ah, I don't know, 13, 15 minutes, something like that. Okay, so I've had this fire going for quite a while here to get some coals, and I'm just going to set this right down on here, and we're going to let that sit there and smoke and steam in there for, like I said, almost 15 minutes, and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, everyone, well, it's been about 15 minutes, so let's pull this off and bring it inside and see what it looks like. I think we'll take a look right here. It seems like it's still smoking some. Oh yeah, it's got that golden brown look just like Nick had said. Mm, let's take that inside and see what that tastes like. Well, it certainly looks good and it smells good too. So let's just see if we can get this off of the pine. Oh, it just flakes right apart. Well, that's what it looks like after it's all out. Um, it looks really good, like I said, but I'm going to just give it a minute here to cool down, and then I'm going to give it a taste. Okay, everyone, well, it's cooled down a little bit. I'm going to give this a try and see how it tastes. That is really good. That pine gives it a... just a little tinge of a different taste. It's really good. Nick, that's a really good recipe. And it's so simple. And like he said, it's something you can easy do. So, I mean, you could be fishing and do a shore lunch with this if you just had a pan with you and started a fire. It would be really easy. 
Anyway, you guys, give this a try. Go check out Nick's channel, Whitetail Bush Bushcraft, if you want to see a longer version of this video. Great recipe. Thanks a lot for watching the Jones Act Survival Channel.